Um, so Ben, I don't know how much Josh told you about what we do. Go for it. Okay. So are you familiar with Twitch? Yeah. Okay. So we aren't from Twitch. We're not Twitch employees. Okay. We're Twitch streamers. Super. So the point of our uh, channel is to allow interactivity with our audience playing board games. Super. So Nicole, her nickname is Twitch uh, TP for okay. Twitch Proxy. So basically what we do is we play board games and by proxy our chat gets to play with us as and they control the players through Nicole. Interesting. Yeah. Very good. So we are kind of trying to take that same uh, idea and okay. take it to the con. Some of our viewers are international. A lot of our viewers are actually international. Some of our viewers are actually here at the con, but they may be in a different room, or they may not have the app. I know. We were playing a game last night, and one of our viewers showed up while we were playing a game. It was so cool. The best. The best. Uh, but they may not have uh, time to come and check out each, you know, each right. person or steal somebody's, not steal, but borrow somebody's time. I mean, you know. So we're, uh, we're by proxy. Meeting everybody in the club for them. Excellent. Yeah. So I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, ben, tell me a little bit about yourself. So I run Floodgate Games. We publish okay. thematic games that uh, have nice, interesting mechanics and uh, are hopefully a lot of fun for our for our players. Okay. What got you, Ben, into video games? Jeez, oh, best interviewer ever. Board games. I do love video games as well, oh, but I've been playing uh, board games my entire life. Yeah. Um, and then I started designing them at a really young age, and they were all terrible, terrible games. And, uh, a couple years ago, I designed a game about time travel and technology. And okay. Put it on Kickstarter, had other people who were actually interested, and yeah. bam, I'm a publisher. That must have been such a great feeling to put like your work that you've been you've been working on out there for the public and get that kind of acceptance. Tell me how that, that felt to have hit your first successful Kickstarter. It's good to know that you're making things that uh, other people enjoy and that people can have fun with, so yeah, I really enjoy that. What have you? Uh, what game have you enjoyed the most, either working on or, or publishing for other designers? What's been your favorite, your baby? Oh man, everyone's been a fantastic experience. Uh, most recently, Sagrada has been our our new game, and that's been uh, a lot of fun to put together. The mosaic artwork is very pretty. What? It, tell me about the game. So this is Sagrada. It's a dice drafting game where okay. players are building stained glass windows. They have their own window card here. Okay. We'll be rolling dice every round, placing these on uh, on the window pattern. Okay. Right. Matching color to color and number to number as we go. It's so like twos on the twos, blue on the blue, and so on. Ooh, you steal and your other and let Nicole get away. <laughs> Sorry. That happened. that happened. But as you're playing, you can never put two dice of the same color or number next to each other. Have you okay. played Sudoku, the puzzle game? Uh, yeah. It kind of feels like that. Yeah, okay. I can see that. So you'll build up this window all the while you're striving to meet these end game goals of like color variety per row and so on. You'll score points for making that happen by the end. But as as you place dice, every time you place a die, it gets a little more restrictive on you. So it's harder and harder to place dice. So we have these little tool cards that help uh, help you navigate around that and manipulate the dice or re-roll them or whatever you want. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, what's the price point for this game? It's going to retail for 40 and it comes out uh, early summer. How can people find out about it when coming out? No, we just finished uh, our Kickstarter project, but we are taking late backers, so there will okay. be a link from our Kickstarter page. How do they find your Kickstarter page? Or from our website, floodgategames.com. Okay. Um, so, besides from... Sagrada. Sagrada. Yeah. The name is very pretty. It's tough to read with the mosaic. Okay. What else do we have? What else What else have you brought to the con? Uh, tons of stuff. Okay. A game we published a couple of years ago called Epic Resort. Okay. It's about building a resort for fantasy heroes who are looking to go on vacation. Okay. But the more you attract, the more likely monster attacks happen, disturbing the rest of the heroes and wreaking havoc on your attractions. Okay. Uh, this year we're publishing an expansion for that called Villains Vacation, where the the, the bad guys decide it's their turn to get some rest. The artwork is very deep. Did the same. Who's the artist for this game? This one is. Uh, Kelly McClellan and Jackie Davis are the illustrators. And who was your artist for this game? Peter Walken is the illustrator for they're, Sagrada. They're both very different themes, thank you. but the artwork is both very nice. They, oh, they yeah, thank just, you. Thank they're you. very pretty games. Yeah, yeah. we try to keep things thematic and, and tying tightly in with the mechanics, so yeah. as you're playing, it really feels like you're doing the things that we say you're doing, Yeah. and it uh, has a lot of escapism and... And it's fun to play. I like to play RPGs, and that's probably one of my favorite reasons for playing exactly. RPGs is you get a little bit of escapism. You're in a whole sure. different world, and that's really awesome. So what has been your favorite part of the con so far? Oh, man. I just love meeting people. Yeah. And uh, this con in particular, we have a lot of friends here, and we actually get a chance to play games. Yeah. Unlike some of the bigger cons where you're just working, working, working. Work, work. Yeah, which is... 
great, don't get me wrong, but um, this one we have a little bit of time to play some games. Did you catch the guys in the luchador masks last night with oh, tops? Oh yeah, battling tops is amazing. That was great. That was not something I was expecting. Oh, yeah. It was very last minute. I got a text from somebody and they're like, you need to come downstairs How now because there's grown men in luchador masks yeah. spinning tops. It's amazing. It was the best. Yeah. It's life changing. <laughs> Say that. I don't know if it's that. changing for the better, but it's life changing. For <laughs> sure. That's something. Oh, ben, is there anything that you want to make sure our viewers know? Uh, or... Play more games. Oh, Just keep playing games. I am headed off. Sounds Mobile. Good. Very nice to meet you. Same here. Thank you for letting me um, come and barge in. Oh, Appreciate it's great. it. It's great having you. All right. Bye. Have fun.